Unfinished government infrastructure projects is a common sight in most newly created districts, and in Kema district in Western Province is no exception. This is why Vice President Mutale Narumango has inspected the construction of the district administration offices and staff houses that have stood for over five years in Kema district. Mrs. Narumango was not amused with what she found. And this, as you heard, they go eight years backwards. My concern is how much will the people pay? That's one part I've called me for. Because we don't know the percentages. Remember I said they were paid upfront. But sometimes the upfront would be as, as much as 60%. So I am just requesting the provincial leadership to help us with percentages. As we, we go, we look at what percentage were people paid and at which percent was the infrastructure left. Because tomorrow we call the contractors and say, you got more money than the work you did. You start saying vindictiveness. We want people to be accountable for what they did. However, the vice president has reiterated government's commitment to complete infrastructure projects that have stored, especially in newly created districts. When today people say this government is only completing, you know, they, they are conflicting, completing what we left. Yeah. So should we abandon them? No. This government has a responsibility and we go around completing the infrastructure which they started. By finding the resources, even though it is scarce because of the indebtedness that they left, and we are working on ensuring that we can you know, streamline and restructure the indebtedness so that we can quickly finish what they left. Then we will start ours. And Western Province Permanent Secretary Akapelwa Simomo is happy that government has committed to complete the stored infrastructure projects in Kemba and other districts. As we start operating from here, things will move. As long as we stay in TPZ and here at the cross, this thing won't move. Prince Giuni, ZNBC News, Kema.